Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of uh, abstract logo design uh, using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using the version 1.7.3. So before we start, we need to create a, a new document. For that, we go to the top, File, New. I'm going to use my usual 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi. You can use any other um, dimensions that you want. Uh, only always remember just to uh, uncheck uh, the transparent background and you can leave the rest as it is. And let's click OK. So now we have our new document. OK, now before we start, let's go back to our view and make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get started. The first tool that I'm going to use is the donut. So I'm going to hold command and shift, click and drag to make a perfectly proportional shape. I'm going to release, then I'm coming here to my transform uh, tab. Make sure that you have selected that icon that actually links both the width and the height. And I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to change it to uh, 230. And then coming here to this tool and I'm going to create a semicircle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle and the rectangle uh, I'm going to snap it there. One second. I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to release there. It's fine, don't worry, we are going to um, change now the size. So I'm going to click that one to actually uh, unlink the width and the height and on the width I'm going to select 730 pixels. Now I'm coming here and I'm going to actually make a snap there. Zoom in so we make sure that actually is snapping there perfectly and this one exactly the same. Good, now that we have that one, what I'm going to do is select my uh, move tool. I'm going to hold, alt, click and drag to create a copy and I'm going to snap it, snap it perfectly there. There we are. And now I'm going to take this semicircle again, hold, alt, click and drag to create a copy. Now you can release alt and I'm going to here to my transform tool and I'm going to flip it horizontally and I'm going to snap everything there. Perfect. Uh, let me see, there is no gap. There is no gap in between them. That is quite important. So then we have, the idea is that we, we should have an entire shape. So to do that is uh, somewhere here at, at the corner, I'm going to click and drag to select everything. And now I'm coming here to my geometry and I'm going to click add. So now we have an entire shape. Now what I'm going to do is again hold alt, click and drag to create a copy and I'm going to put it more or less somewhere. I think it there will be fine. What I'm going to do is click and drag to select both. Come into my alignment tool and I'm going to make sure, make sure that you're using last selected and the both are actually in the middle and I'm going to actually group them. Now I'm going to hold uh, alt click and drag to create another one. Now you come to the transform tool at the top, rotate 90 degrees and now we need to make sure that everything is centered so come into the alignment and you click on the center and horizontal and vertical so now both are exactly uh, centered. I'm going to put it somewhere there and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I think that they will be fine. Perfect. Now we need to start working with this. So I'm going to ungroup and ungroup. Okay. Now I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to give them a color. Something like this will be fine. 
now what I need something there there would be fine we are fine now I need to put different color to identify which one is what for because what we are going to do now so I'm going to click in this one and I'm going to change this just only like this I'm going to give it a little bit different color so I know which one is what on the whole scheme perfect now that we have that we need to start making that interlace effect in between these ones to do that what we need to do is we need to actually cut some parts of each one to give that uh, effect that is like a weaving um, yeah so something like that anyway you, you will see now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one shift and select this other one and now you come here to ge geometry and click divide so I'm going to do exactly the same uh, for all of them so then you come this one and this one divide this one and this one divide and this one and this one and divide so now you'll see that it's all different small little parts so now is let's make one on the top and one to the bottom top bottom so if this is good to the top I need to select that one and delete select that one and delete and the next one is going to be opposite so this one I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to choose choose this one and this one I'm going to do it like that and like that and then like this and like this so basically we have top bottom top bottom top bottom top bottom and then top bottom top bottom and so on and so forth good now we need to create all these needs each one of this shape needs to be one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my node tool come here to my tools i'm going to click and select those ones hit uh, hold shift click and drag until you are more or less on top I'm going to do the same for this one, click and drag, sh hold shift and drag and I'm going to do the same with this one, I'm going to select those one, click, shift, drag, this one the same thing, shift, click and drag and there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these ones that are the same color and let's make them one. So now basically this is just only one shape. If, if I move it like this, you can see it's all together. Uh, let's undo that. So I'm going to do exactly the same for all, all the rest. Click this one, shift and drag there. And top, bottom, so it should be this one, click and drag there. And this one should be top. So, opa, click and drag, holding shift and this one exactly the same thing there we go okay now let's do exactly the same for all of them so the yellow one let's go for the all the different parts of the yellow one there we go so make sure that all the yellow ones are selected geometry so now we create one why is that one there oh look at that i forgot one so now everything is the same uh, shape don't forget anything uh, the color that we give it a, a different color allows you also to see here on your layers if you forgot or you're missing one so I'm going to click there also what you can do is you can select them all from there and click on add so basically that is how you end up with four so now what I'm going to do is, as you can see here, I give them some color. So this one and this one, I'm going to give it, give a little bit uh, like a yellowish something color, something like this. And this one and this one, I'm going to give it some other color. Let's make it something like this. I think that one is fine. Good. Now I'm going to click and drag to select everything. I'm going to group it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm holding shift and rotate so we gave a 45 degrees 
and you can make it a little bit smaller again if you want and obviously then we need to put uh, some text for the name uh, in here what I'm using is called uh, monotone I think this font um, you can get it from um, Google font um, I'm going to put the link uh, to that font if you want to download it or if, if you bought I think it comes with one of the packages or the free packages of uh, Affinity Designer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my artistic tool uh, and I'm going to click and drag and for this I'm going to put the word logo and now I'm going to change it for uh, monotone let me see all of them L M uh, monotone that one that is there perfect I'm going to make it a little bit smaller okay now what I've done uh, with this one let, let me make this just more or less the same size and what I did is actually I like I, because it's all lines you can use any font by the way okay this depends on the type of logo that you are uh, you are creating or the name of the company but for this tutorial i'm using this one because i like it better because everything is like a lines so i think it makes a good match uh, now what i will I, I want to do with this one is actually putting touching each other so first of all i'm going to convert it to curve first and then i'm going to ungroup and now that is all completely separate i'm going to hold shift and drag until they are almost touching the like this so shift and i'm going to do the same with the o here some something like that i think i, I like it in this way i think it's quite nice i'm going to click and drag to everything i'm going to group it so we have just only one uh, one shape and i'm going to put it at the center let's put it margin so remember when you use align to margin it's actually to to the page so now we are right in the middle uh, of our page okay like i'll do always let me put this on the center the, i change the background so i select my rectangle tool click and uh, opa sorry there uh, right in the corner click and drag to make it uh, to cover the page let's send it right to the to the bottom and the color that i'm going to give it is actually 10 i think that one is nice perfect so basically we are finished okay so i hope you liked the video if you did please remember to subscribe to give the thumbs up uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and if you have any comment please leave them in the section down below thank you very much for watching and like always i'm seeing you in the next video